Okay, welcome back to part two. We're um, going to just kind of show you the general overall layout of Premiere now. We went through preferences last time and kind of setting up um, your preferences for for Premiere. Now we're going to go over kind of the basics in uh, um, the layout of Premiere and uh, how that works. So I'm going to open up the old project that I had. If you guys want to open up an old project, uh, there's a couple ways of doing that. You can either start Premiere and do it from the open recent or from the open uh, section on the splash screen when you open up Premiere, or you can actually go to your old um, uh, folder that you created here. Sorry, I guess it's not old, but we're going to go to uh, Death of Me Scene, and right here is my project file. Uh, you can just simply double click on it, and it will open it up in Premiere. Or if you just open it, if you open up Premiere, it'll bring up the splash screen and you can tell it to open from there or you can open Premiere and go up to File, Open. There's a bunch of different ways of getting into that. So, uh, But here it is. I haven't really done much with it yet because we just uh, established the preferences. But this opens up my project file and the way you can tell that your project file is open. I'm not sure why this is a little bit of a bug in uh, Premiere. Sometimes it'll add extra project um, tabs down here in the project area. Um, the way you can uh, get rid of those uh, if you don't want all those extra tabs because I already got <clears throat> one extra tab right here open that I, I'm going to be using. I don't need two project tabs open. I'm just going to hit the X right here and it will close that. Uh, now if I close my extra one over here uh, then I won't have a project window to deal with so I'm not going to close that. You can bring it back if you close it. Um, well, let's kind of show you around Premiere now. Um, down here in the project area, by the way, I'm going to show a quick shortcut, and that's a shortcut. Uh, that shortcut is uh, the tilde key, which is just above the one key above the tab key, the little squiggly um, above the tab key. Uh, any of these windows, you have four sections in Premiere here. You have the project area window, you have the source uh, window here, you have the program window, and you have the timeline window right here. Uh, those are the kind of the four major areas uh, in which you, you will be working at any given time. Uh, you have the ability of going full screen with that tilde key. You just mouse, simply mouse over. You don't click on these areas. You just mouse over any of these areas here, and then you will hit tilde. The tilde will uh, make that area go full screen. So if I, I'm over the project and I click my tilde key, it goes full screen. So you can do operation out of this window a little bit easier. Um, if you want to see your source area, tilde over that. If you want to see your program area, tilde over that. And then you tilde again, hit that key again, and it uh, goes out of it, toggles it on and off. There's the timeline area. Uh, very important to know as you start working to give it a little bit more working area, get a little bit more close-up, get a little bit more uh, intimate. Yes, I said intimate with the, those, those areas right there. Um, okay, so that, that's kind of the uh, basic layout for those four windows there. Um, now, when you're operating out of each one of these windows, um, I'm going to go kind of go over keyboard shortcuts as well, so you can uh, operate a little bit easier out of these uh, separate areas. Uh, you'll notice this uh, kind of orange, whatever color that is, um, outline around the timeline window right there. This is the area that you're working out of, and that's the area that your most of your keyboard shortcuts will be will will function out of. Um, out of this region that is selected right here. So your, a lot of your keyboard shortcuts will be active for that region. Now if you want to select these different windows and you want to work out of a different window, you just simply click on them like that. Click here, click here, click here. So one, two, three, four. Um, now if you want to use keyboard shortcuts, you don't want to move your mouse clear the heck over here and click on it because that takes a lot of time. And honestly, if you're a good editor, um, you'll be able to use keyboard shortcuts instead of moving the mouse over and it's a lot faster once you get used to it. Um, but these shortcuts in Premiere are going to be Shift 1, 2, 3, 4 to select those windows and to operate out of those windows. You notice what happens when I hit Shift 1. I'm holding down Shift 1, the number 1, and it selects um, this window right here. Shift 2, no, it selects the source area. Shift 3, it selects the timeline. Shift 4, selects the program window. So if you want to be operating out a certain window, sometimes when you want to operate out of the timeline and you're in the project window, if you're in Shift 1, the project window, and you want to quickly operate out of the timeline, you just hold down Shift 3, and it selects a timeline window. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4. So good to know to operate out of each window, Shift 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll select those different windows. Okay. Um, 
Another thing here, uh, kind of some basics with the with the layout here in Premiere. Um, I'm going to go up to Window here. Under the Window, it's good to know about this little workspace area right here. They have different layouts or workspaces for kind of different operations. This editing one that we're in right now is kind of the basic um, area of operation, or, or is the basic uh, workspace uh, for just basic editing. Uh, this is the most common here. This is one I, I most commonly use. Uh, you can do custom workspaces as well. We're going to show you how to create a workspace here yourself. Uh, but if you do different, if you're doing assembling, you arrange for assembling, which makes it easy. It gives you a larger project area, a uh, smaller timeline area, and a little bit of a bigger program window. This is just for basic, uh, just assembling, throwing clips into a timeline. Uh, you go into Window Workspace Audio. If you're going to be doing audio mixing later on down the line, um, this arranges it so you have... Um, You'll have audio meters up here. There's no mixer because there's no audio on a timeline yet. Um, but this optimizes the window space for um, for audio mixing. And you also have color correction. We'll get into color correction later on as well. Uh, you'll have a... Uh, uh, you can use things like scopes down here while you're showing your program. You can do comparisons between uh, color correction clips. Um, but editing is kind of the normal one. They have one for effects, metal logging, a few other things there. But you can do a custom one as well. I'm going to show you how to do a custom one. I'm going to arrange for editing. And by the way, if you screw something up here, if you, let's say I'm going to make, if you go between windows here and you make this little double arrow right there, you can click and drag windows. You can resize windows like that if you need a little bit more program space or if you need a little more timeline space. You can do that and I'll give you a little less program space. Um, and if you like a layout here that you're going to be using, you can go under Window, Workspace, and you can do a new workspace. You're going to create a new workspace that is based off of the workspace right here. Uh, first of all, let me show you how to reset this. So you, let's say you've done some arrangements, you've uh, screwed things up. Let's say we grab our timeline window. You can actually grab these things here by this little fuzzy tab right there. I don't know what that is, that little marked tab right there. You can grab that and move it around. You can move it to different windows. You can really kind of mess things up as well. Um, and if you do, if you can grab, if, if you screw things up so badly, you can just go up to Window, Workspace, and make sure you're on the, um, the type of workspace that you want to be in, Editing. But right now my editing has been reconfigured here because I've moved the windows. You just go down to Reset Current Workspace. And uh, the shortcut is Option Arrow Zero. Um, and if you ever need to get shortcuts, they're right over here. But uh, if I go under work uh, or reset current workspace, it'll reset it to whatever one is selected. So I'll reset current workspace. Yes, I want to uh, restore it, and it goes back to my normal editing workspace that I had before. Now let's say you want to uh, save a workspace that you like to do. Say you want a bigger timeline, and we do this, and we make more room for the timeline. Let's go, go over here. Actually. Uh, let's grab this part here. We're going to make this a uh, little bit uh, bigger. There we go. So we have more timeline space and say this is what I like to use and I want to use this more often. I'm going to go under Window, Workspace. I'm going to say New Workspace. It'll say what do you want to name this workspace that I've created right here. And I'll say Larger Timeline. Uh, whatever you want to call it. Hit OK. And now, if I go back to uh, my workspace, you'll notice that has been saved under my workspaces here. If I go to, now if I sync that to the server, if I sync that to the, um, if I go under Premiere Pro and say sync settings now, that will save this to my uh, settings. So if I go to any computer now, I can download that workspace. Hit OK, it syncs it. Once that has been synced, then um, now I can go on any computer, open up CC, and download that uh, my synced settings, and I will have this workspace and anything else that I've, uh, all my settings that I've saved on another computer. Uh, so if I go to Window, Workspace, Editing, it's going to reset it back to Editing. I've selected uh, Editing, and you've got to reset that current workspace because I changed it while it was on that workspace. Say yes, and it resets back to normal, and it goes back to the normal uh, editing workspace. Um, so that's basically, you can delete workspaces as well, and here you can get rid of your, uh, if you don't like these workspaces that you've created. Um, now one thing to notice as well <clears throat> is uh, 
these workspaces that, that I that I synced with the server, they are also uh, linked to the project file that you created them in. Right now, I've um, saved this Death of Me project, um, and I've created workspaces within that project. If you open up this project file on another computer uh, off of your hard drive, it will remember this larger timeline one that I've created because it is uh, you've got this check marked import workspaces from projects. It'll import that workspace attached to this project here, uh, so it will remember that larger timeline um, workspace that I've created there. So, um, okay, let's show you the basic windows here, um, and then we'll move on to the next section. Uh, what we've got here. This is your project area. This is where you're going to be importing media, organizing media, creating folders, and organizing all your media, which is anything from uh, video to still images to audio to After Effects um, uh, project files. All of your media that you're going to be working on is going to be uh, brought into this area. So a couple ways of, of doing that. We'll show you on the next one where uh, our next section is on importing media. Uh, we'll show you more details with the media browser, why you, you would want to use a media browser over uh, this area to import media, over your um, your Finder or your Explorer if you're on Windows. See, here's uh, my Finder. Let me grab a window and drag it over. Here's a, here's my Finder. If you want to drag files into, uh, here, into Premiere, you can do it from this window. We'll show you that later. Um, but there's our media browser. Uh, and this is going. This is, serves as a browser, kind of like for your Finder or your Explorer, uh, but all native to Premiere. And there are some reasons you want to use this, and we'll show you why. Um, info: If you want like information on clips or timelines, it'll bring up all the information. There's some shortcuts to do this as well, where you might not need this window as much. Effects: We'll get into this later on as well. Effects here in the project area. Um, if you're going to be adding things such as uh, color correction filters. Uh, King filters, uh, of any certain types of effects on videos. You're going to be dragging. You're going to be using these to add to video clips, which we'll get into in a later section. And audio as well. You've got audio effects. You can be adding audio effects to your uh, audio. Um, you have transitions to transition from clip to clip, and Lumetri looks and some presets if you create uh, presets. Lumetri looks is something that they brought over from Speed Grade. Um, have a whole bunch of pre-created filters from uh, SpeedGrade. If you're using SpeedGrade at all, we'll show you those. It's got some kind of cool stuff as we get into the filter section. They've got some nice little looks in here um, to give your videos to give them more of a cinematic look. Um, markers, uh, we'll, we'll get into this a little bit later as well. Your History tab. Uh, history tab is, um, yeah, you, sorry, your Markers tab is if you're creating markers on your timeline or your video clips. Uh, this shows where all your markers are, so you can jump to a certain marker at a certain uh, time if you want to add notes to certain clips or to certain sections of clips or at certain parts of your timeline. You can jump to those areas and find them quickly here. Uh, history. This is uh, your undo, basically. It keeps a list. What's nice, what's nice about Adobe is it keeps a list of all the items that you've been doing. And if you need to go back in time, you can just. Uh, we'll show you this as well as we start uh, actually importing clips and working. Uh, so every, that's everything to this area right here. And we'll show you how to work these areas in a moment. Right now, I'm just doing a quick overview. Uh, this area right here, this is your source window here. Um, and actually, I could be doing tilde as I'm going over these areas here. I'm going to do tilde, kind of show you the, make this go full screen. Uh, I've got your source window. This is going to show video clips here uh, for basic editing, for creating in and out points. We'll get into that. Effects controls, you can select any clip and control the effects on any individual clip. Uh, your audio mixer, you're going to be able to uh, mix your audio within here. There's other ways to mix your audio as well. And metadata, if you've been adding metadata, if you're especially working on a bigger project, you'll probably use this more. A lot of people don't use the metadata as much as they do on larger productions. Um, but th this will show all the things such as media type, frame rate, all the uh, information to each individual clip. Uh, any information added by assistant editors as well. Uh, if you're working on a bigger project, this is especially important uh, to keep track of, of all the information and find certain, uh, especially if you're working on like something like a feature, this is incredibly important here. So, um, okay, over to the program window. Program window here, this is going to display whatever is playing in your timeline. You pull clips into your timeline and it's going to be showing, it'll be displaying your video, your, your footage 
uh, up here in the program monitor. Wherever your playhead is, it will be displaying it here in your program monitor. This is your edited movie up here. Uh, timeline. This is where you're going to be dragging your footage. You're going to be doing some basic editing up here in the source monitor and dropping it into the timeline. And then your timeline, you're going to be doing fine-tune editing down here, and you're going to be playing through your, your footage here. Uh, this is your movie, and this displays what your movie looks like. Um, over here, you've got your toolbar. There's your toolbar to access uh, certain tools for doing editing down in your timeline. And over here is your audio meters uh, for monitoring audio and levels of audio um, on a stereo channel here. And if, in some instances, if you're doing 5.1 surround sound or mono or anything or any other type of audio there, these meters will display your audio. Okay, and that is basically all the, the windows and kind of the layout of Premiere. Uh, now we're going to get into importing media, so on to the next section.